We will talk about the top seven signs of inflammation, the leading causes, the risks associated with chronic inflammation, and how to reduce inflammation naturally. Inflammation occurs when the body responds to injury, infection, stress, or toxins. The immune system reacts to any harm by triggering an inflammatory response. Three, the purpose of inflammation is to clear damaged cells and neutralize the source of injury. At first glance, inflammation seems beneficial because it protects the body by eliminating harmful agents and promoting tissue repair. However, when inflammation becomes chronic and prolonged, it can do more harm than good, leading to unnecessary tissue damage. This is why many inflammatory diseases develop, such as rheumatoid arthritis, atherosclerosis, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes, inflammatory bowel disease, and many other chronic conditions. There are five classical signs of inflammation. The first sign is redness. This occurs due to increased blood flow and dilation of blood vessels. The second sign is heat. The increased blood flow and metabolic activity at the site of inflammation cause a rise in local temperature. Third is swelling. This is caused by the accumulation of fluid due to increased vascular permeability, allowing immune cells and proteins along with fluid to enter the tissue. Fourth is pain. Inflammatory mediators like prostaglandins and bradykinin stimulate nerve endings causing pain. And fifth, loss of function. The affected area often loses in normal function. For example, inflammation in a limb or organ can impair its functionality. All these signs are evident during common conditions, such as a sore throat or a mosquito bite. Another common sign of inflammation is an exogenous fatigue fatigue. Inflammation requires continuous energy, and molecules called inflammatory cytokines can interfere with energy production, causing a feeling of tiredness. This is commonly experienced during infections like the common cold, flu, hepatitis, obesity, where fat tissue triggers inflammation, or even in chronic fatigue syndrome, where low-grade inflammation is a likely contributing factor. And seventh common sign of chronic inflammation is joint pain and stiffness. It is more common in conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, wound, and psoriasis. For example, in rheumatoid arthritis, inflammation occurs in the small joints of the hands, wrists, and feet, typically in a symmetrical pattern. In osteoarthritis, the pain tends to affect a symmetrical larger weight-bearing joints like the knees, hips, and spine. Morning stiffness is common but usually brief, lasting less than 30 minutes. Good pain is intense and attack-like, characterized by sudden, severe pain in a single joint, often the big toe. It typically occurs at night. Digestive problems, such as chronic diarrhea, constipation, and bloating, are also signs of chronic inflammation. Conditions like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and irritable bowel syndrome are examples. Another commonly used test is the erythrocyte sedimentation rate. If it is accelerated, it indicates inflammation in the body. Interleukin-6 is also common pro-inflammatory cytokine that plays an important role in the body's inflammatory response. Interleukin-6 levels are commonly elevated during infections, certain cancers, and even in cases of COVID-19, sepsis, and other infections. Now let us discuss how to reduce inflammation in the body naturally. The first and most well even supplement is omega-3, which has anti-inflammatory properties. It reduces the synthesis of inflammatory mediators, such as interleukins, prostaglandins, and tumor necrosis factor. Strong evidence supports the anti-inflammatory effects of omega-3s, particularly in cardiovascular diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, and other inflammatory conditions. However, the benefit of omega-3 is more gradual compared to aspirin. If aspirin is rated as 10 out of 10 for anti-inflammatory action, omega-3 would be around 7 out of 10. Another strong anti-inflammatory supplement is curcumin. It inhibits the synthesis of tumor, necrosis factor, and interleukin onem, 
and it also acts as an antioxidant, moderate to, to strong evidence from clinical studies suggests curcumin has anti-inflammatory effects, especially in conditions like osteoarthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, and metabolic syndrome. The main challenge with curcumin is its poor bioavailability. To improve curcumin's bioavailability, it can be taken with piperonine black pepper, which can increase its absorption by up to 2,000%. Alternatively, Curcumin can be taken in a liposomal form or as nanoparticles. Curcumin's effectiveness will be rated as 6 out of 10. Ginger is the third most well-studied anti-inflammatory supplement. It inhibits pro-inflammatory enzymes like cyclooxygenase and reduces oxidative stress. Ginger's effectiveness is milder compared to curcumin and will be rated as 5 out of 10. Resveratrol Another known anti-inflammatory supplement is a strong antioxidant found in red grapes. Its potency would also be rated as 5 out of 10. Regarding medications, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and naproxen reduce inflammation by inhibiting cyclooxygenase enzymes. Corticosteroids are more potent. Anti-inflammatory drugs that suppress immune responses and reduce inflammatory cytokines, particularly interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. Additionally, methotrexate and colchicine reduce inflammation and are used in specific conditions, 